right now about 800 miles directly west of Hana, uh, island of Maui. Uh, the research work from uh, north of latitude 48 to north of uh, Seattle, Washington, uh, up by Vancouver Island, last six months, seven months actually, all the way down the west coast, uh, Washington, Oregon, offshore bouncing off about 150 nautical miles inshore, checking out the California current all the way down to the equatorial and down here been bouncing from uh, 19 degrees south latitude back up to 22 checking out water temperatures and sea life um, as this is a mixing merging and current line area and when I come into the true equatorial current there's obviously a lot more fish life that shows up fish finder flying fish uh, wind sailors on the sea there's more stuff that you see the only fish that I've caught, hooked up, landed in any way, shape, or form has been in equatorial waters. Nothing in the temperate waters, which leads me to believe this. the uh, What I call the K current or Kudo current from southern Japan will in the summertime reach uh, all the way over across the central mid-Pacific, way north of the equatorial, and punch in deeply to the California current to within 30 miles uh, of... Marl Bay, California, Santa Barbara, and then all the way up north within 40, 50 miles of Astoria, Oregon, and about within 80 miles uh, offshore of the state of Washington. That's where all the fisheries action is going on. That's where I saw and caught um, good-eating fish, albacore. That's where all the dolphin encounters, marine mammals, humpback whales, other whales, uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, up in that current or in protected coastal areas, uh, orcas, etc. But whenever nearing a city, whether it was Seattle, whether it was San Francisco, whether it was uh, Los Angeles, uh, just graveyard decimated. And as a current worked its way um, away from that K current, just no fish on the fish finder, no fish to catch, not even sardines. This thing's been fished out, it's dead. And this cycle circles all the way around to uh, Japan, Russia, comes back around, um, it shoots back across to British Columbia and down the west coast. So a sad state of affairs. I happen to believe that there are some species of fish, probably from the equatorial current, uh, subtropics down here, as well as from the temperate currents that are just like graveyards that have switched habitats, jumped into that K current, that's basically the last little finger, current, or stream of life in the North Pacific. Uh, prove me wrong on that. Um, even the birds. Uh, amazingly, I also saw a thousand miles from the Hawaiian Islands, the blue mass, blue-footed booby bird. And they're usually only spotted within 50 or 100 miles of an island. Uh, so they may be pelagic and not so much island base as some people have said um, like that snowy white owl what was it doing 120 miles offshore southern Oregon Northern California well a lot of these birds of prey they need fish As the fish are gone they're gonna go to where the fish are the last uh, remaining places or feed upon each other's which uh, pelagic birds will do in the absence of uh, stuff to feed upon so some sad news, um, most of the North Pacific is basically a dead zone in terms of anything from this little sardine level up to the big pelagic fish, be it marlins, tuna, sharks. Um, usually I see sharks on voyages, you see them on the fish finder, the trail vessels, nothing in this vessel. It's a sad day, um, what's happened to my generation, civilization. Um, it's just gone, and there is one last vestige of life that's being fished out. It won't last very long, but uh, that's where I mean, for like 14, I haven't seen dolphins for 21 days, I have not seen a marine mammal, not a humpback whale. Um, most of the fish are small, um, it's just uh, crazy out here. It's sad. <coughs>